YouTube, good morning. It's late at night and we're installing Windows 10 on uh, a Dell Inspire and the 6000. Remember the one that I made a video about that uh, was locked with the bias? Well, I'm installing Windows 10 on it and <laughs> I was so surprised to see that Windows 10 booted up. It's installing now. It has a 30 gigabyte hard drive, this thing. It's a real old laptop that I painted not so long ago this summer. Looks decent. It's not uh, so fantastic here. The site is not so beautiful, but we can handle. This thing was even a Mac, the blue Mac. Also got a video about that. This thing can also run Mac OS X and now it's running Windows 10 and uh, you know, at the next boot I'll get back to you and we'll see how this thing runs and the reboot and there we go Windows 8 is booting you can hear the drive we can remove the CD now there we go oops it's such a mess here I've been working man Windows 10, put it back in the box, you must always take care, you know, with the CDs, not to scratch them, but it's booting, it's kind of working, yo, this thing, I don't know, I think it has, I'm not sure, one gigabyte of RAM or so, this is like real old <clears throat> Windows 10 wasn't meant to run on this thing but as you can see it runs so I think many people will have fun still with their old uh, Acer you know the Inspiron 6000 it's a real old machine yo it's very compatible <clears throat> Windows 10 is booting up and the black screen it's normal, it takes a while. At this time, it's uh, detecting the settings of the screen. So, you know, when this is done, I'll get back to you. Okay, it's getting everything ready. After a long time black screen, then, you know, it will start getting things ready. This will go much faster on your machine because this is a real old machine with a 30 gigabyte hard drive, a uh, ATA drive. It's uh, how you call it? IDE drive. So, um, yeah, nothing fast or fancy about this thing. In fact, this is a laptop that should not even be around anymore, but many people uh, can still uh, get them. Friends of mine, they buy them for $1 in the United States. And uh, as you can see, this is a $1 machine running Windows 10 at this moment. Well, it's installing it. It already installed it and now it's booting up. We got the black screen again and after this we will get like the uh, customizing of the screen then we could choose the colors etc 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 and then windows 10 is installed let's do some settings here trying to find my mouse oh there it is there's my mouse I'm going to customize some stuff here because uh, I want to... Uh... You see it's kind of slow, eh? So in fact it rebooted two times. One time after the installer and then a second time and then we came into the uh, customizing uh, part and now we're setting up the system. So now, you know, we just wait until everything is done. Gonna make myself a little soupy soupy and then you know I'll get back I don't know what happened just now I was in slow motion recording in slow motion but it's almost ready and you know soon uh, this thing will show us the desktop and then we'll take a look and see how it runs on this amazing old Dell Inspiron 6000 something that should be a long time ago on the trash bag okay it stopped not even so long go and there we see all apps 
it's really small because it could not get any app this thing is not connected to the internet you see it could not get anything no sound so let's let's look under the engine let's just uh, go to properties personalize first of course I will not keep this because this thing is running way too slow but we're gonna see if we can you know at least get it to run like a good computer and then we will kill it again this is just for testing so as you can see your offline installer won't give you any app you see that no apps nothing okay keep that in mind properties here you can see it this is the machine it's 512 megabyte of ram people 503 megabyte usable <laughs> uh, 1.3 gigahertz intel celeron m processor so this is the celeron m processor eh? see that so it's because of the processor we can still do this so this thing should have at least two gigabytes of ram you know uh, to make it run like comfortable but it runs as you see it runs it's not that you cannot install it it does install on your old dell but if you want it that is you know question number two so in fact i could pop in some network card you know and then get these drivers fixed and then you know the system would like work uh, things that we could do to make it even faster is go here to properties and then go to advanced system settings and then you know performance settings here and then adjust for best performance you can also do this in xp and in uh, windows 7 and vista you know and that will make your machine way faster you should try it so that's it peeps windows 8 on the dell inspiron 7000 well as you can see it's late in the evening gonna have my soup as promised i made a nice soup here for myself see that nice noodle soup so you know that's what i'm gonna enjoy now i'm gonna look at the windows 8 system and then I will kill it again and I'll pop in some uh, Mac OS X because uh, I was doing a Mac OS X project on this thing but the hard drive wasn't good so I installed it and then it wouldn't boot from the drive so you know it would just act really stupid but this is done and uh, peeps it works so you know go play with your 6000 if you still have one uh, download the ISO file from Microsoft uh, Dot com look for windows 10 download microsoft and you'll find the link install it and try it and till my next video if you like this video of course you should like and subscribe bye bye